Tonight, we continue an in-depth week-long look at the lasting impact of the Dixie and Caldor wildfires. Lessons learned for this year. Despite losing their downtown six months ago, residents of Greenville say the town still feels like home. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Nikki Lorenzo. And I'm Eric Harriman. Fox 40's Dennis Shanahan shows us what's holding Greenville together, even though most of their buildings are in ruins. It's the second report in our series, Fox 40 Investigates Wildfire Season 2022. It's cold in Greenville this time of year. There's even snow on the ground. But almost everything else you see along Crescent Street reminds you of one thing. In a single day six months ago, the Dixie Fire crushed this beautiful timber town. Many of the remains of once proud historic buildings are still awaiting demolition. We were really making good progress, and then the snows came. We spoke with Plumas County Supervisor Kevin Goss over video chat while he was on a much-needed vacation. The fire and the recovery of his community have consumed his thoughts and energy ever since that fateful day last August. He says the timeline for cleanup and reconstruction is largely in the hands of the State Office of Emergency Services and the weather. Now all of a sudden we're picking them back up again, and they are picking it up at a very uh, rapid pace. One of the first things to rise up after the fire was something not made of construction materials, but human materials. A volunteer community group called the Dixie Fire Collaborative is helping organize recovery efforts. Many people still live here in homes left untouched by the flames. We found their collective spirit to be stronger than any building could ever be. People just need to understand that we're still in a state of shock and we're, we're trying to recover. Jennifer Miller is a nurse considering coming out of retirement to help her community. Getting the medical care back and so we don't have to go someplace else. Greenville's medical offices burned in the fire and the roads in and out of town are subject to very long delays while crews remove burned trees and repair damage from rock slides caused by December rains. It's been tough, but you know, we're all grateful to be alive. Despite the devastation that surrounds them, some residents tell us Greenville still feels like home. Absolutely. I would never leave here. I'll die on my property, and I have no intention of ever going anyplace else. I, I love this place. This is definitely home. You know, those of us that have stuck around after all the devastation, we are riding through the thick of it so we can stay because this is home. Outside the Evergreen grocery store, Chanel Moeller was camera shy, but focused in her loyalty to Greenville. There is no other community like this. The people um, are so kind hearted, so thoughtful. We really rally together through all of this and you do what you got to do so you can stay because this is home. This grocery store, which survived the fire, is also where you'll find members of the cleanup crews, their faces covered in ash after a long day in the rubble. Some of them live in paradise, so they understand what it's like to lose your town to a wildfire. Picking the pieces back together, that's all you can really do. We're going to do a good job, and when we leave, hopefully everybody will start rebuilding. Now it feels like everybody's working to the common and, and the means and everything of making Greenville a, a town again. Yeah, this is their town. They're not leaving and uh, they'll get it back. It'll, it'll be here. I'm really actually really thankful that you um, as a news group are following back up uh, six months later because this is really crucial. We have to stay on the map. We have to be on the map. And as a small community, we cannot fall off the radar. A small community with a big task still ahead. In Greenville, Dennis Shanahan, Fox 40 News. And one major milestone to add to Dennis's story, construction nearly complete, they tell us, on a gas station in Greenville. Residents have been having to drive almost 90 minutes to get gas since that fire.